Hi everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm looking over some old pictures of our trip to Italy last year. I promised my wife when we got back I'd put together a photo wall and so I'm just getting together the final touches. Anyway, I think I need a break. After looking at all these fantastic pictures of all this delicious food, I'm getting really hungry. It's time to get food. So for our Italian themed supper, we're going to be checking out Bodira Cafe and Fine Foods. And I went there earlier today to pick up frozen lasagna, chicken parmesan sandwich, and arancini. Now, I was introduced to Bodira a few weeks ago because I was feeling a craving for gelato. And so a neighbor of mine said that they had some of the best gelato in town. But after having the gelato, I said, we have to try what else they have to offer. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. I can't wait. fantastic time at Bodira today. Thank you Antonella and Sebastian. You're two of the nicest people anyone would ever want to meet. With the lasagna, what you get is a frozen tray that serves about two people. And we got that, and that's really simple. All you do is I pop it in the oven, you set it for about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and it goes for about an hour, hour and a half. Everybody's oven's a little different, so. The important thing to remember with the frozen lasagna is once it's done cooking, once you know that it's cooked through and it's nice and hot, leave it in there with the oven off uh, and just with the residual heat to keep it warm. But leave it in there for about 10, 15 minutes. That way all the liquids can get reabsorbed back in so that when you cut into your lasagna, you don't get that situation where that tomato sauce just runs all over your plate. Look at this sandwich, it's as big as my face. Should probably cut this thing, otherwise I don't know how I'm gonna eat it. All right, let's give this thing a bite. Whoa. Mm. I got all over my face and my hands, look at that. Oh yeah, the peppers, the mushroom, the sauteed onions. Mm. It's not the neatest sandwich, but oh boy, is it tasty. Oh, what? Mmm. So here we have the arancini. Check that out. Look at it. It's, it's nice and golden from the breading. You can feel it. It's still nice and warm. Again, it was just it just popped it into the toaster oven. Warmed it right back up. Look at that gooey cheese. Mmm. Now for those of you who are not familiar with arancini, it's basically a rice and cheese ball with a little bit of minced meat in there. They even have some peas. We had these when we were in Italy last summer. To be honest with you, when I was there and I had it, you know, I wasn't completely blown away with the arancini, but trying this one, oh boy. Mm, I changed my mind. If this is the way an arancini is supposed to be, then definitely, if you've never had one, you gotta try one of these. This lasagna, 
Oh yeah, this would make even the laziest fat orange tabby cat come running. All right, let's have a bite. Wow, that is delicious. Right away, the tomato sauce. First thing I pick up on. It's not too sweet, it's not too sour. It's got that real tomato taste. Rich, oh, that's great. So at Bodira, all their pastas are made in-house, and this lasagna is no different. It's so awesome to know that what goes into this lasagna, the ingredients, you can count on your hands. There's no additives or preservatives or anything else there. It's not overly seasoned. Mmm, just the right, right amount of flavor, that balance with the cheese, the tomato sauce, the beef, and the noodles. Wow. Sebastian, Antonella, huge thanks. Grazie mille for that delicious meal. It was so good. That lasagna, the chicken parm sandwich, ooh, and the arancini. I think the arancini was what stood out to me the most. Really enjoyed that. If you've never had arancini before, this one you don't want to sleep on. That's the thing you should definitely go get. It was crispy, it was gooey, it was tasty. Look, all I'm saying is, go to Bodira, get their food, and make sure you get one of those arancinis. Loved it the most. Now, I think the only thing else I need to sort of top off this meal would be a cool and delicious treat. Look at this! Gelato! Ho ho ho! Now, if you're not familiar with gelato, I think the first thing you need to do is question what you're doing with your life. But in all seriousness, when you're looking for a good gelato, it's important to pick out one that uses natural flavors. If you go to a gelato place and you're seeing fluorescent and neon colors, then back away. You see the pistachio? You see how it's just that light muted green color? That's what you're looking for. YouTube determines how they share these videos based on the level of engagement that it gets. And definitely one of my big goals with this channel is to bring more attention to all the fantastic places we have here in Markham and surrounding area. Let me know in the comments what you like to eat whenever you go out for Italian. Is it lasagna? Is it chicken parm? Is it gelato? Would love to hear from you guys. All right, I think I'm gonna need a minute to finish this gelato on my own. But before I go, again, if you enjoyed the video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thanks again for watching. I look forward to seeing you soon. The next time I get food.